Welcome back. Welcome back. This is still Why in the Morning. Thank you for staying with us. If you're just tuning in, well, you are in the right place uh, at the right time because we are, are starting the first conversation of the day on youth and career. And for today, we're talking about goal setting because in any area, if you, you want to journey in your career, you need to have a goal. So setting that goal and working towards that, that's what we're talking about. And for that, we are joined by Mr. Geoffrey Ongwa who's a pastor, a mentor, a motivational speaker, and a writer. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, my sister. Glad to have you with us. I'm happy to be here today. Amazing. It's so a let's blessing. Talk, let's talk about uh, goal setting. This is an area that you love speaking on? Yes. Why? What, what about it? Because, you know, whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. you must set a goal. And uh, as I know, godless life is a defeated life. Mm -hmm. There is no way you can succeed without setting goals okay. in this life. So you need a goal to succeed. Yes. It's actually essential. Yeah. So t t tell us, before we get into how and the strategies, tell us, because you have interacted with teenagers and youths and even teachers, what are some of the things that actually prevent people from pursuing their goals or not uh, living up to their full potential? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been having a meeting with the principals, teachers, students in various schools, and we have been talking about setting goals. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, in, in especially the youths, eh? mm -hmm. the youths are supposed to set their goals while they are in, in high school. Uh, some are supposed to set the goals while they are in primary school. Yeah. So once somebody has, uh, uh, has not set their goals right, there is no way you can succeed. Mm -hmm. So there are several factors that can hinder people from setting their goals. One is when somebody like what you call self-esteem. When somebody uh, thinks that I, I cannot do it, mm -hmm. I'm not worthy, you know, and that's the, the, the thing that is affecting many people. When you feel that I cannot do it, okay. maybe if it is a youth, uh, maybe they're in a high school, mm -hmm. those who are, uh, maybe I've been out of college, mm -hmm. where they feel that I don't fit maybe to do this or, or uh, that one. Okay. So, lack of self-esteem is one of the factors that can hinder people from setting their goals right. Okay, so you need to work on the self-esteem. Yeah, yeah. The self -esteem why, you, why you believe that I can do it? Hmm. I can do it, I have the potential. You know, once somebody lacks self-esteem, it is where now you cannot be able to move. Mm -hmm. It will hinder you, maybe from pursuing even your career whatever you want to do in life. Okay. So uh, I, I've counseled many people, especially in high school, in colleges, those who lack self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And uh, once somebody lacks self-esteem, what happens, failure is on the way. All mm -hmm. the spirit of failure will possess you. That's why you find that the people are hopeless. Mm -hmm. In fact, some of the people who are hopeless today, they have potential. In fact, they have potential, but the, the problem is they lack what we call self-esteem, where you believe yourself. Okay. I can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is uh, one of the main factors. What are the other six factors? And, uh, you know, I've, mm -hmm. uh, I've really worked in, uh, with several schools in this country on how to lay self-esteem. Okay. One is to believe that I can do it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how you lay self-esteem. Yes, I can do it. Maybe if you are pursuing your career, you are in high school, mm -hmm. if you want to become an engineer, you want to become a doctor, you, you, you want to become a, maybe to work in banks and uh, you want to become a teacher. One thing that you should do is to believe. There is power in believing. Uh, once somebody starts believing, it, that's the one way you can defeat what you call this uh, lack of self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is the key main thing in defeating self-esteem, believing mm -hmm. in yourself that mm -hmm. you can do it. In fact, even the and Bible says there's power in believing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You can remember even Obama, the former president of America, what he said. He yes, said, yes, I can. can yeah. And that one became a, a slogan mm -hmm. that's really inspiring many people, not only in America, but all over 
all over the world. Mm -hmm. That when you believe, yes, I can, you turn your weakness into strength. Okay, amazing. Yeah. yeah. So apart from self-esteem, what are the other factors? Uh, another factor is uh, mm -hmm. the, the environment where you have uh, maybe brought up. Mm -hmm. It can uh, maybe hinder you from setting your goals. You know, there are s some people from poor background. And uh, you know, where you live, sometimes environment can influence you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and uh, it is one thing that I've hindered people from setting goals. Maybe if you are coming from a poor family, our family cannot succeed. We don't have a teacher. We don't have a, mm. any profession in our family. So the background sometimes can end up. But what we tell people, that's the matter where you are. You can arise. It doesn't matter where you're coming from, where you're going you to. You can arise. You can become somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we have seen people, you know, uh, this is what I tell people. Uh, people who are being celebrated all over the world today. They were just ordinary people, mm. just ordinary people, but they decided to work for their goals. They decided to pursue their goals. Mm. They said, yes, I can. I come from a very poor background, but I can arise. I can become somebody, you know. That's why people were being celebrated all over the world. If you go and search the history of these people, you know, they came from very poor families, mm -hmm. but they decided, they said, one day I'll become somebody. And uh, that, that's what we have been come, uh, we have been telling even young people in colleges and universities uh, that your background cannot hinder you from becoming what God wanted you to become, mm -hmm. as long as you believe yourself. Okay. Yes. So it goes back to again believing in yourself. Mm, yes. All right. Was any other factor before we continue? Uh, you know, there, there, are, there are several. There are many. There are many. So okay, now, so how, how would you say there would uh, fight, you know, how do you manage to change their mentality from believing that I'm coming from this background, nothing, I can amount to, you know, nothing because this is the far that my family reaches or I have a poor, I have a low self-esteem and, you know, I don't believe in myself much. So how do you manage <coughs> to change their perception on this? Because I believe it starts with the mind. Yes. You know, uh, our success starts from the mindset. Mm -hmm. How do you believe about yourself? It's very important. How do you believe about yourself? And uh, you know, our success is a reflection of, uh, of our thinking mm -hmm. on what is in our mind. So once you work on your mind, you start changing your mind from being negative to positive. And uh, it is very easy to change your mind mm -hmm. because the mind is flexible. It's not permanent. Mm. That's why sometimes I tell people, never brand yourself that you are a failure. I've been telling young people in high school, uh, in, in companies where I've been invited to talk, never believe that you brand yourself that I'm, I'm a failure, there's nothing I can do. Because once you change your mindset, outside the world will change automatically. Mm -hmm. So people should work on their mindset where you start believing that Maybe, uh, even though maybe I come from a very poor family, I can arise. I'm different. I can make history in our family. I can change. I can be the first one, mm. maybe to go to university. I can be the first one to have a career that the people can admire. Some of us, we come from very poor background, but we decided to arise. That's why we are able to write several books that the people are reading all over the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So somebody must work on your belief system. Your okay. belief system. Your belief system. Yeah. If you and believe that maybe because I come from this remote area, a uh, very poor background, there's nothing I can do, it will work for you. And if you start saying, yes, I come from a very bad background, but I can do something. I can become somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, there are uh, uh, about uh, four questions that you must ask yourself. Mm -hmm when you want to succeed in this world, when you are what setting are your goals. Mm -hmm. What are those questions? Number one, you must ask yourself, who am I? Mm -hmm. Mimi ni nani? Mm -hmm. Do you see? So how, how You must know yourself. You, you need to know yourself. Yes. Okay. Even the, when you pursue your career, you must know yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what answer What's your passion? What do you, do, mm -hmm. do you like? So, who am I? Mimi ni nani? 
And that question nobody can answer. It's only you. It's only you. So mm. are you supposed to define yourself yes. in terms of career <coughs> or in terms of your personality? How do you answer the question, who, who am I? Who am I? There are some things you look at. Mm. What do you like in life? Maybe when you were in high school. You can remember even maybe some of you are working here. You started practicing this while you were in, in primary school, some in secondary school. You started discovering yourself. That's why I've said you must ask yourself, who am I? Mimi ni nani? The second question, who am I becoming? Who mm -hmm. am I becoming? Because it's very important. You must become somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, five years from now, ten years from now, where will I be? You know, it's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Who am I becoming? The five years, ten years. You know, am I moving from you know from one step to another? Mm -hmm. You know, that's how people even build their career. You know. So well, there, you 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 are meant to register the progress that you're making. Yes. Okay. You must assess your progress. Mm -hmm. You must even when you set goals. We will talk about that mm -hmm. if we have time. You know, when you set goals, you have what you call the timeline. Yeah. If you want to become, you to have masters, you have to have a degree. You maybe you want to do this. Uh, you must have a, a deadline where you say five years from now, ten years from now. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've said the second question: Who am I becoming? Who am I becoming? Okay. Uh, number three: The question that you must ask yourself: How can I become? Mm -hmm. Because becoming somebody is a process. Mm -hmm. mm. For ten years, when I started my company, Gtox and the mentorship. You know, it's now almost 15. I was having a big picture of uh, talking to principals, schools, companies, and I've seen it coming to reality. Because I've been invited to several schools, talking to principals, talking to companies, somebody to change their mindset. Mm -hmm. Even a company, when you set goals, maybe we want to go all over Africa. At what time? Okay. Do you see? Mm -hmm. How long will you take? So that's why you must ask yourself, when will I become? It's very important. When will I? That's after how, and then you ask yourself, when will I become? Yes. Okay. Do you see now? Mm -hmm. the, uh, how long it will take? It's a process. Any pass on any career you want to pursue, there is a process. Okay. There's a process. There's a process. Yes. All right. <laughs> So now, I, I want us to take a short break and then come back to this conversation, this interesting conversation. So we are going to take a small breather and then continue the conversation of goal setting, get into how exactly do we set these goals? What are some of the strategies that we need to put in place? So yeah. let's take a short break and then we'll be right back. Why two five four? Imagine.